Hey everyone, it's SG Holy Man. Welcome back to Grim Fandango. Please sit back and enjoy this latest episode. Could we borrow that light for a second? Sorry, I'm kind of attached to it. <laughs> Could you send for help? Oh, sure. I promise to call for help at the next phone booth I walk by. Could you take us to the Pearl? Ha! You don't believe those old stories, do you? You think somewhere in this ocean there's a gigantic pearl that shines so brightly it can be seen from passing ships? And that sometimes sailors so allured by its luster actually fling themselves overboard to dive for it and are never heard from again? Yeah, and I think it's right over... Bah! I've been walking this ocean for years. I ain't never seen it. No, really. The pearl is right over there. You poor sucker. That's the moon. Tell me you didn't come all this way out here to pearl dive the moon. <laughs> well, I don't want to break your stride there. Okay, see you around. Watch out for sea monsters. Who, these guys? Oh, they don't mess with old Chipito. I'm too bright for them. <laughs> this little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. Let it shine, let it shine, let it shine. Hey, Leo! Let <laughs> What am I supposed to do with this? Follow me. Where are you taking me? To the moon. Benny, is that... The Pearl! <gasps> Whee! I knew I'd find her someday! I'm rich, 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 rich! Shh, something's happening. Benny, what's going on? I don't know, but I don't like the way that thing's looking at us. Gladys, go down there and talk demon talk to that octopus. Heck no! I'm scared! I'm staying up here with you! I'm not going down there while that monster's looking right at me. I'm not going down there while that monster's looking right at me. Hey, Chipito, go for a swim, will ya? You're drawing too much attention to us. Too bad. I'm sticking to you like the barnacles on my eyebrows. So don't even think of sneaking off with my pearl. I'm not going down there while that monster's looking right at me. Ugh. Watch those hands, clams. I can't get anywhere near the sub while that monster's guarding it. Hey, hands off! Nothing inside Capito's personal bubble. Ugh. I can't get anywhere near the sub while that monster's guarding it. I don't want to mess up my blade. I don't want to mess up my blade. I don't want to mess up my blade. That soul has already been reaped. Ugh. Here! Ah! 
He's coming back. swimming around here? No, but I can smell them. Nothing but dark waters that direction. Sneak inside and look for Mechi. What if that octopus comes back while you're gone? Poke him in the eye and steal his sub. <laughs> Stupid octopus. Hmm, this door's locked. See how your trip was going, Angel. I am your travel agent, you know. By the way, thanks for that bottle of champagne you sent me. It really hit the spot. You were headed for a trap. I was trying to warn you. Domino was using me like bait. I didn't want you to end up a prisoner here like me. Prisoner? Where's your cell? Or are you just sharing a bunk with the warden? If that's what you think of me, then why did you come here? Because this is where he belongs. Here, working for me. I knew you'd come around eventually. Right or wrong, Manuel Calavera is always with the winning team, right, Manny? That's why you're here now. I'm getting off this rock, and I'm taking all of these people with me. <laughs> Manny, there's no way off this island. I'm afraid you're stuck here in my little executive training program. See, I need you to take my place here, kid. I've got to get back to the city where the action is. Sorry, Manny, but I had to come in. My skin was getting all pruney. Him, I don't need. I'm gonna grind you to powder for that, cowdon. Maybe later. But for now, let me just show you your new office. Careful, BB. The new boss is waking up. No drawers. Hola, angelitos. I'll bite you, I swear to God. Please don't bite anyone else, Pugsy. That's why they put us in the cage in the first place. You bite me and I'll sue your parents. Our Our parents? parents? <laughs> <laughs> My name is Manny Calavera. What's yours? Mr. Hurley told us about you. You're the one who tricked Meche. Poor Meche. Why do you want to bite me? You're the mean new boss. Mr. Hurley said you were meaner than him. He said you had a bone saw. 
Mitch is my friend. You can ask her. She talked about you before. Every time she says your name, she looks so sad. I don't know what you did to her, but you're gonna be sorry! What are you two doing in this cage? Making light bulbs. Look, we're working as hard as we can. Why don't you leave us alone? I didn't trick anybody. Mr. Hurley said he was supposed to take care of Meche, but you stole her case from him. Is that true? Let me see if I can explain this whole thing to you. You see, I had this job, selling travel packages to immigrant souls. If I sold enough of them, I got to leave the land of the dead. Now, I was in a slump, and I really needed a fat commission, so... You're a bad man. Go away, bad man! Yeah, go away! I'm the one who's gonna take Meche out of here. What? You can't do that. Who's gonna take care of us? <laughs> we'll be all alone! <laughs> nice you have here. Mr. Hurley grew demon ravens with human heads in here. He said if we ever tried to get away, he'd send the ravens after us. And let them make nests out of our bones. Listen, children, I'm here to help. There's really not much more room in here. Your hands are too big to make light bulbs. My hands are not too big to make light bulbs. Then why don't you help? I just don't have any of those little tiny tools, that's all. Here, take my hammer. <laughs> 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 I'm here to help you get out of this cage. You can't do that. We have to stay here and take care of Mitch. She'd be so sad here all alone. Sometimes we hear her crying, you know. You're two bad little children. I'm glad you're in a cage. <laughs> Very bad. <laughs> You know, I really do want to help. Then why don't you? My butt's too big to sit on one of those little perches. Um, I'm gonna tell Mecha you said that word to us. I told you he was bad. I'm in the Maritime Union. We can't do factory work. I don't know what those words mean. It means he doesn't want to help us because he's mean. On second thought, maybe I don't. We don't want to either, but we don't have a choice. You children just wait here and be brave little angelitos, okay? Okay. Welcome to the end of this episode. If you liked what you've seen, go ahead and like this video, share it with your friends, and subscribe to my channel for more Let's Plays. Thank you guys for watching, and I will see you next time.